What's up, YouTube? Today, another AG Russell knife. This one is the kind that you snag on your pocket. One-armed razor or uh, sometimes called a veteran's knife. Um, I will say that although the veteran story is very neat, that's probably not true. Anyway, moving on. Um, you can open it up by catching it on something or just opening it like a normal knife. It has a cool hollow grind to it, which is not the norm for A.G. Russell. And I think this might have, I don't know if they marketed this as, as a steak knife. Um, it had, but I think it, that's what the meaning or the intended use. This Delrin, I like it, but the issue is, right, like, if there's nothing going on and you that's classy, but if you start to pick up cracks and stuff, because the Delrin's not super high quality, I know that it's bad quality, but so here's a piece that uses this that has an issue. Here's a piece. Like I said, it's not the end of the world, um, but uh, if they were to say use jig bone it would be much more expensive i don't know if they have the skill to make it look right um but little stuff like that wouldn't jump out at you although then you couldn't throw this around as much but it's it's kind of the worst of both worlds because if you toss this in a pocket and it scratches up really bad it's permanently scratched up i mean you'd really have to do some sanding it it would just be silly right so you end up kind of having to throw this into a pocket slip for, I got this for $20 off the secondary. That seems, you know, odd to me, but I'll do it. You know, it's, it's all good. I do like this piece, uh, mostly because it's functional. Um, it actually works and it's not like ridiculously pointy and, um, it's just a cool piece, just the cool factor. It uses decent st steel for a knife made in China. And, uh, yeah, I feel like Rough Riders should make a reserve like this. There's no stop pin, though. Anyway, that's about all she wrote for this little guy.